want? Contract. When do we want it? Now. When do we want? Contract. When do we want it? Now. We're here on a beautiful day in Golden Gate Park at the concourse where a celebration is just beginning for the 75th anniversary of the Golden Gate Bridge. The workers have been negotiating for more than a year now trying to achieve a fair and equitable contract for the bridge. They have made at least $2 million in uh, concessions to the bridge, but that seems to be not enough for the bridge management. So today, there will be a mixture of party and protest in the middle of Golden Gate Park. April 7th today, we're out here uh, at another event uh, celebrating the Golden Gate 75th anniversary. It's the Carnival Jubilee event in Golden Gate Park. It's a beautiful day. Um, and we're really trying to make sure the district understands that we're going to keep on showing up these events um, and picketing them so they understand that uh, if they don't back down on their health care proposal that punishes families, um, we're going to keep on fighting. You can't celebrate the bridge without celebrating the bridge workers. So hopefully if we show up to each one of these 75th anniversary parties and make ourselves known, maybe we can wake up a board member or two and they can see the light of this and how ridiculous it is to believe that you can balance the budget on the back of our health care. This is a beautiful day in Golden Gate Park. Why are you out here? We still don't have a contract. Uh, we supply them a service, a professional service at the bridge, electricians, iron workers, painters, all of us together, and we maintain the bridge. And it's still standing today, and they're just having this 75th anniversary. I think it's in pretty good shape. Uh, I think they could treat their workers a little bit better and give us a contract and give us a health care package that we could live with. This cost sharing that they're going into where they want us to, I understand they want us to come with a, up with about a 6% co-share. Well, once they get the co-share in there, it's my understanding that that's like an open ticket. They're going to take advantage of that in every contract. We're going to end up paying more and more and more for our health care till, you know, a few years down the road, we're 25 to 50% and then we'll end up paying for our own health care. I see you're here again. What's the, what's the story? Uh, Ralph Miranda with the Teamsters Union. Uh, we are here to show the uh, board of directors of the bridge that we want a contract, we want a fair contract, and we're anxious to get uh, a resolution. I gotta tell you, it doesn't feel like there's been good faith on the district's part or the board of directors' part, and we're really disappointed in that. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that the uh, Teamsters uh, unit at the bridge uh, have taken a strike vote. Uh, they are prepared. Uh, if necessary, uh, don't want to strike, but we will if we have to. On the 14th, we're going to have a really large uh, march and rally starting at Harry Bridges Plaza in front of the San Francisco Ferry Building. Uh, we're going to end up at AT&T Park. Uh, and one of the ferry boats from the North Bay is going to be there with uh, over 700 passengers. We're going to be handing out flyers, uh, really making sure we make a big statement and know that the public there will understand that if they don't treat the bridge workers and the district workers right, uh, you know, their ball games are going to interrupt it also. So um, we've got to make sure the public understands this is going on. This is what this is about.